Scorpio, what's going on with you? It's your girl D, 8th house energy here to bring you your weekly read from Sunday, February 16th through Saturday the 22nd. But don't get caught up on the dates because you know time is fluid. You know, if this reading resonates with you, it could have happened in the past. It could happen in the future. It could be going on for you right now. Take what resonates though and leave the rest, okay? Um, what you guys may want to do is look back at um, videos from last month. You know, and the month before. So what we're, we're in uh, February now. So look back at um, December and January videos, you know, and, and see where you were and look at where you are now and see if there's anything that resonates. OK, also check for your other signs and your other placements in your chart. OK, um, again, because time is fluid. So you definitely should be checking back on some December videos, some January videos just to get a, a better understanding of what's going on and see if things resonate with you. All right. Yes, 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 Scorpio. Let's see what's going on. We got Mercury in retrograde. I um, This is my second time doing a reading for you because it cut off from me 20 minutes into the reading. And um, I won't blame it on Mercury retrograde, but I want to. But I won't. But that reading was telling me that, you know, for, I don't know, I got two indications that this Mercury retrograde energy, it's very important that you don't start any new projects. Mercury retrograde is not about starting new projects anyway. It's about taking care of stuff that you had put on the back burner. So um, I had got that in the last reading and I thought that that was important that I let you know. So I just wanted to bring that information to you. Don't start anything new until the first week of April. This energy right now, um, you know, for those of you, you may be having some financial issues or you're trying to look to make some money. Don't do anything that you haven't done before. Don't start anything new. Um, at least until April, you know, if you want to start applying for jobs, you can, but you don't want to, um, you know, with this retrograde energy, I can't tell you what to do to make money, do what you feel is best. But you know, if, if you can, you know, don't start any new projects or try to start something new, um, to make money until after this energy, which is going to be like the first week of April. I love you guys. I appreciate all your support. And if you need a, a personal reading, the information's in the box below Scorpio. Three of Pentacles in reverse energy. Okay, this could represent some of you not employed, um, not working, not bringing in money. For some of you, you're not working on any projects right now in particular. Some of you, you've gotten out of a third party situation or you're not interested in a third party situation. Um, for some of you, um, you're not getting the support you need from your friends and family. Um, maybe it's the financial support. You're not getting financial support from anyone. Or anything. Um, um, for some of you, it could be some bullshit going on at your job. Office politics. Okay. Someone, you know, some jealousy at the job. Some, some you know, a hmm, couple people against you for whatever reason. Maybe they're jealous. All right. But let's see what the challenge is. Like, that wasn't a challenge. Let's see what the challenge is in handling this situation. We have the Four of Wands. So it's a challenge. The four of wands is a challenge. Hmm. Okay. So the current situation is the three of pentacles. All right. In reverse. So there's, um, with the three of pentacles here, this talks to me about no support. You know, somebody was sloppy about what they were doing in the past. It could have been a sloppy situation where it was blatantly obvious that there was a third party situation. You know, some people, you know, they go about it in a way that, you know, is, is somewhat dignified to a certain extent, you know, where it's not all obvious and blatant. But this person, they were very blatant with it. They could have been, you know, verbal about it. Um, you know, this could have been someone who told you what was going on. Um, and then at that point, they thought they could just do whatever. I don't know. I'm just getting that energy for some of you. But the four of wands is the challenge here. So stability, emotional stability is what I'm getting here is the challenge. OK, um, maybe the challenge is relocating or moving because the four of wands could represent um, homecomings. Maybe somebody's coming home. Somebody wants to come home. Maybe somebody wants to move. OK, and the challenge is that you don't have money to move. OK, that could be what's going on for some of you. Um, I did get something about money in the last reading, but let's see what's going on here. So the universe or your higher self or you or your guardians, your spirit guides, your angel guides, they're saying 
what is this page of cups so there's a message they want you to pay attention to this message there's going to be a message of love coming or a message of a child some type of message okay with the page of cups because pages are about messages um, so some message could be coming to you and the universe wants you to focus on that. Okay, well, we're going to, don't worry, we're going to unpack this. Let's take a look at where your head is at right now, Scorpio. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. So you are focused. You see this gentleman here? He's looking in the book. He's trying to make sure that he follows the rules. He does every, he's trying to dot all his I's, cross all his T's because he's about making this money. So that's where your head is at. You're focused on bringing in money. You're not quite where you want to be with the night stage, okay? You're not at the king of pentacles yet. So you're looking at what you want to do. Some of you, you're considering going back to school. You're focused on um, going to school, taking classes, okay? Um, some of you, you know, when you go back to school, you get that, uh, that, uh, that check. <laughs> you know, when you take out your student loan, you get that check, that FAPSA money. OK, some of you are looking at that because there's definitely a money situation here with the three of pentacles in reverse. And some of you, you know, the challenge is, is, you know, making sure you can pay your bills, making sure that you can move if you want to move or relocate. But I don't know what this is. OK, maybe this is about you doing something you love, but it's a message. Pages are messengers. And this is about emotions and feelings. OK, so I need to find out what this is all about. But in the meantime, you're focused on your dollars. Now, let's see what the outcome is here, and then we're going to clarify these things. Some of you got a, a you, you're worried about paying for your, you're worried about your children, taking care of your children, making sure your child is okay. Um, and then we have the star card in reverse. So this is Aquarius energy. Now, why is the star card in reverse, Scorpio? Somebody not being recognized, something not being recognized, somebody depressed, is somebody, um, you, you know, um, using, somebody might be using drugs, somebody maybe not being acknowledged, not being honored, somebody may be jealous, there's some jealousy here. Let's see what the overall energy is. We have the 10. Uh, ooh. Okay, well, I understand why there's some jealousy here. I don't know why the star card in reverse just gave me jealousy. But that's what I'm getting here. This could also you be de de denying someone, turning someone down, or someone turning you down. Okay. We're going to clarify. But this is beautiful right here. Overall energy. Okay, 10 of pentacles. Okay. That's beautiful. Let's see what this is about, Scorpio. Let's see what this is about. So let's clarify this Three of Pentacles here and see what's going on with you guys. Why is this Three of Pentacles in reverse here? Is this somebody, you know, denying a third-party situation, someone not being in one, someone coming out of one, someone having some issues at the job, not being, you know, no teamwork at the job, they're not supporting you, your friends and family aren't supporting you? What's going on? So for some of you, we have the sun card in reverse, delayed satisfaction, and the ace of, I'm sorry, the ten of cups reverse. So some of you, you come out of a third party situation because you're dealing with someone who was bullshitting you, you know, maybe promising you that they're going to be with you one day and they're going to leave the person they're with and wah, 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 you know, that story. That's for some of you. Uh, for others of you, we have the seven of swords energy and we have the ten of pentacles in reverse. So for some of you... Um, there was some deceit going on. Somebody might have stole some money from you. Someone may have lied about being in a relationship, lied about um, having a whole nother entire family. Okay. Some of you knew about this person, but then some of you did not. You have some of you who were dealing with someone and this person was telling you that they were going to leave. They were going to, you know, um, leave the situation or that they were having problems. Um with their with their person okay and this was a temporary situation i guess um for others of you this person lied to you and didn't let you know that there was someone else they were dealing with for others of ooh, okay so for others of you have the magician in reverse and the knight of cups yeah some of you this person has been lying to you they've been seeing other people 
um, the person that you were dealing with or was dealing with. Okay. Now the challenge is the, the four of wands. Now this four of wands, let's pause for a minute. Because four of wands, usually when people look at this, they think about marriage, weddings, homecoming, celebrations, family festivities, things like that. So we need to see why this would be a challenge. So we have, okay, devil energy. And we have the fool in reverse. So you got to be careful. I don't know. You got to be careful. There's some temptation coming your way. Something is coming towards you. And it's... it's it, Somebody is coming, what I'm getting is somebody's coming towards you. Somebody's coming to you. They're coming to you out of the blue. It's going to be a surprise to you all of a sudden. Um, and this is, this is, to me, this is so strong sexual energy. Uh, what is this energy? Somebody's coming to your home. Somebody's going to come to your home and want to be intimate with you and want to jump right into it. This was somebody that you were in a third party situation with in the past. Whether this person was being honest with you and, and about it or whether they were lying to you. All I'm getting is with the three of, of pentacles in reverse, this is why I do three sets of cards underneath. Okay? The first two sets of cards is the sun card in reverse and the ten of cups reverse. So this is telling me that this is somebody who is telling you that they're going to leave their person and they're eventually going to be with you. Um, for some of you, this is someone deceiving you at work also, okay, that you might have been, um, no, I'm not getting work. I'm getting, I'm not getting work. I'm getting somebody might have stole some money from someone or someone lied and cheated and it costs their partnership. It cost them their partnership. So maybe the, this was someone who was married and was cheating and, and got found out on. And then for others of you, it's just the Knight of Cups. This is someone who was single, but, you know, they were trying, they're trying to get you back. So, yeah, this is what this one is. So this is what this is. So this person is trying to come and get you back, okay, to get you back under their wing because they didn't want to let you go, all right? They don't like the fact that, you know, yeah, that's, yeah, they're going to lie to you about, they're going to say all kinds of shit. Um, and then we have the lovers here and we have the, um, six of wands. So for some of you, this is someone who's coming back to you, who rejected you in the past. Okay. Gemini energy here. And then Leo in reverse. This, th there's somebody who wants to come to you, but they may be scared. They love you, but they may be scared. For some of you, this is someone you loved and you wanted to be with, but, you know, they rejected you or you rejected them in the past. For others of you, we have the Empress in reverse and the Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this don't look good. This is somebody who's financially dependent and they're going to probably try to, they're financially dependent. Somebody needs some help. Somebody needs to move in. Well, why is this 10 of pen? Okay, somebody's coming under the guise of let's get together. Okay, the challenge is the four of wands. The challenge is, is that for some of you, some the way they're coming at you is like, oh, well, let's get together. We want to get together. But the reality is, is this person's fucking lying. Yeah, you got somebody. Okay, okay right underneath the ten of uh, pentacles was what? The seven of swords. Somebody's lying. They're looking at you as money. Okay, with the um high with the uh, empress energy here, they're looking at you someone who's fruitful. They could have whatever they want. They could get you pregnant. You know, you could have kids by you, and y'all will be good. This is how they're looking at you, like you got the dough. Okay, so yeah, they're coming in with the two of cups energy here, but you're not falling for it. Again, this is someone who might have um denied you in the past. All of a sudden, now they want to be serious with the six of wands in reverse. This could be someone who denied you in the past, and they're coming with money. Okay, with the um, five of pentacles in reverse. They're coming with money. They want to move back in. They want to come back to you. Okay, some of them, you know, they were healing. Yeah, they, yeah, this is what this is. And then it's like with the hangman here. 
energy here um, in reverse. It's like you're not going to make a, a decision because whatever they're telling you is not working. And they're going to try to catch you off guard, but you're not having it. Yeah, they're going to try to tell you, oh, you know, all of a sudden, surprise. And, you know, yeah, I, we eventually we want to be together. And it's like, yeah, okay, we'll see. All right. And then you have the the eight of swords uh, in reverse here because you got clarity on the situation. You realize what it is and you're not allowing this person back in with the eight of wands energy. You're not going to be stressed about that. All right. And they're going to be upset about that. <laughs> with the tower card they're gonna be upset let me finish the rest of the reading y'all come on all right <laughs> but that's what this is that's for some let's get to the rest of this so the page of cups yeah so here it is here's this message of love coming on in because this is what the universe wants you to take a look at this is why it's showing up in that area where it's like your higher self and your universe wants you to focus focus on this message that you're getting like is this message sincere for some of you, we have the Eight of Cups. Someone walked away. And then we have the uh, King of Swords. So for some of you, this is someone, you're going to walk away from this person. Okay? Or this could have been someone who walked away from you in the past and they're coming back with the truth. Okay? They're coming back to tell you uh, the truth. Let me just see something here. For others of you, we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This is no commitment. Yeah, this person just wants sex. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Wands in reverse. This person thinks that you're easy or they just like the sex with you. So they're going to come to you and say, hey, let's get it on. For some of you, they're going to come to your house. Okay? This is somebody who was in town or coming back into town for a lot of you. Okay? And for others of you, we have the Ace, I'm sorry, the number eight of Swords reverse where you see things clearly and you ain't even thinking about it. You're not even going to answer the door with the Four of Swords. <laughs> Now, where your head is at right now, like I said, you're focused on making your money. Some of you are, are looking at school. You're looking at some other options, but you're, dull. you're, you're, on, you're about the dough here. There's a big-ass pentacle right here saying so. Now, and then for some of you, this is about, okay, you're back. All right, well, you know what? That's great. Why don't you call me maybe next week? Maybe we can have, you know, lunch. You know, where... <laughs> where you're you know you're, you're being very distant to this person it's like you know what i'm not gonna be mean to you but at the same time i'm not gonna run and you know it's not gonna be the run and jumping type of thing you know you're gonna slow down so we have the ace of swords yep you being truthful and straight up with them and like the two of cups in reverse like look you're not gonna play with me coming in here telling me that you love me and you want to be with me i'm not here that we're gonna go real slow <laughs> That's what I'm getting for some of you. I'm getting that energy very strongly. For others of you, I have the Justice card here. And I have the Nine of Wands in reverse. So for some of you, um, this person is coming out to communicate with you that they want to um, take things slow with you. They want to connect with you. They want to make things right. And they're willing to you know, take the time with it. Okay, And they feel that that's fair. So you, some of you are connecting with someone who... Um, you know, for whatever reason, they couldn't be with you in the past. It could be because they had other options and they were married for some of them. Um, but, uh, let's take a look and see what else we got here. So we got the four of cups in reverse. Okay. So somebody has got a new outlook or a new option. And then we have the page of cups. So yeah, some of you, you working and minding your goddamn business and you got a new option and love coming in here. Okay. Some of you might have two people coming at you. Okay, is what I'm getting here. But you're focused on your money. Okay, but yeah, somebody's coming back because somebody has a new outlook with the four of cups in reverse and then the page of cups. So someone's coming. Um, yeah, with the yeah, some some yeah, someone's gonna reach out because they wanna they they feel that they need to be fair to you. They wanna balance the scale. So someone's coming with good intentions. Um, or, but this could be what they're telling you. Okay. But let's see what this star in reverse is. Is this interesting? So we have the ace of cups here and we have the eight of pentacles. Yeah. Some of you are, they're going to front, like you're the one, they're the one you want to be with and no. It's not working. You're not going for it. And then for others of you, we have the Nine of Swords reverse. Someone coming out of isolation. 
or someone um wanting to um you know rest and recover or coming out of resting and recovering and they um want to move some of you um you yeah you, you hmm Hmm, I don't like this energy. For some of you, I'm getting that this person may be um, bully, kind of bullying you or coming at you aggressively where you feel like you have to relocate because this person is just doing a little bit too much, maybe a bit stalkerish is what I'm getting for some of you. For others of you, we have the temperance in reverse and we have the page of um, the page of pentacles. Yeah, somebody is going to um, message you. Someone's going to try to message you because they want to um, start something with you. Um, things were unbalanced with this person before. This this person could have, um, yeah, this person could be on drugs. You could be dealing with someone who is has an addiction of some sort. Okay? Um, just keep that in mind. That could be the person who's coming to party and have fun. They just want to, they're in town for the weekend and they just want to check and see how you're doing or what's going on with you. Um, with temperance in reverse, this person has a strong, and the um, star card in reverse, this person has a very strong obsession with you, a sexual obsession for some of you. Yeah, when I see temperance in reverse in the love reading and this is turning into love here. This is like imbalanced emotions. This is the magician in reverse. This is devil energy. Um, this is, um, for some of you, this could be a situation that was very tough on you. Um, this person really tugged at your heartstrings, especially when I see the magician in reverse and devil energy. Um, and then we have the lover. So this person was messing around, definitely messing with other people for sure. This person was deceitful to you for some of you. Okay, um, I am, hmm, the only thing I'm seeing that might look like this might have potential is that there is a person that maybe you turned them down in the past or they turned you down because they were with someone else. But as far as the outcome is concerned here, it's like someone, you know, they want a new beginning with you, um, but you don't see it working with the uh, uh, eight of, of uh, pentacles in reverse. You're not going to put in any work. Let's put it that way. You're not focused on them. You're going to ignore them. Yeah, because the star card in reverse could also represent ignoring someone. So someone's going to profess their love for you, but you're not going to put in any effort. You're going to ignore them. For some of you um, with the star card in reverse, somebody comes out of isolation. and um, Or, you know, this person may be trying to target you and um, you might get clarity on a situation and decide to move. You know, to isolate yourself away from people, you may decide you want to move because this person is acting like a stan and, you know, maybe stalking you. Um, for others of you, yeah, the person that you're dealing with or the person that's trying to message you or communicate with you, they, um, they, I think they're obsessed with you. Let's get you some, um, let's get you some advice from spirit. Wow. All right. What do we got for Scorpio? Yang. Okay, so you're going to have to take some action towards this person is what I'm showing here with the Yang energy. Um, Yang is this, okay, it says the sun brings blessings. Nope, that's the wrong book. Sorry about that. Yang. <laughs> Why do I always do that? Okay, so it says this is the masculine principle of movement and creative activity, the power to make things happen. Taking action. All right, so let's see. So for some of you, circumstances are supporting actions on your part. It's okay to make the first move. Trust that you will quickly know where you stand. In matters of the heart, there is movement towards your highest good. So go forth with assurance. Passion is in the air, and now is the time to dance to the tune of love. Take the lead. Okay, so... For some of you, you want to take the lead and you want to approach someone, but you may be afraid to approach them because of the fact that this person may have denied you in the past. Um, you know, they may have been in a relationship with someone else at the time, um, but they're back. This person is coming back. Now, for some of you, this is going to work out. Okay. Like I said, this person may just be really obsessed 
with you, okay? And with the star card in reverse, this could represent um, someone, you know, realizing that they were arrogant when they were dealing with you, okay? The star card could represent a couple different things. Uh, for some of you, this person may have been in rehab and they come out and they've come home. Um, for some of you, this person is obsessed. So it's it. I got a I got a bunch of different energies here. Let's see what other advice I could get you guys. So some of you, this is gonna work out, all right. But you're gonna have to use your intuition, and I would suggest that you don't make any decisions um, until after Mercury retrograde, because the last reading I did, I pulled the High Priestess in reverse, and I couldn't understand why I pulled the High Priestess in reverse and the Justice in reverse. And I couldn't understand it at first. But then I thought about it and I'm like, oh, okay, because it's Mercury retrograde, you know, your your intuition might be a little off. So don't make any, you know, decisions about anything until after the retrograde. Victory. All right. So it says number 28, victory. So let's see what victory is about for you guys. That sounds like good news. 28, victory. So it says, six, ooh, Okay. So it says success and achievement. So this card shows a beautiful spirit holding a gold victory wreath in acknowledgement of your achievement. Success is on its way and you have a sense of pride in what you've worked to accomplish. The achievement may be a great outer success or it may be a deep inner change that you've been exerting a lot of effort toward. Enjoy the sense of accomplishment, but be careful not to rest upon your laurels. People expect outer triumph to bring great changes, but often there may still be inner work to do. Let yourself be open to victory on every level. So for some of you, this situation is going to be victorious for you in some way, shape or form. Whether you this person comes back to you and this was someone because this was a really rough relationship. Some of you let go of the situation and move on. OK, and that is the victory within itself, because like I said, with the magician in reverse and the devil card energy here, this was a really um, rough in the lovers. This was a really rough relationship. OK, very hard on you. Very, very difficult. OK, so some of you are going to be victorious and be able to move on. And um, some of you are going to actually be victorious with this person. Again, this card coming up. And then don't forget, we have the 10 of pentacles as the overall energy. Okay, so let's see what other messages we got for you guys. What do we got for Scorpio? We have play hard. It says find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. So for some of you with this person that's coming back to you, um, you know, you, you're going to take things slow here. I show that with, for some of you with the um, Ace of Cups. And the um, eight of, of uh, pentacles in reverse and the star card reverse. You're not rushing into anything with this person. You're not going to do anything right away with them. You're going to take your time and you're not going to jump into things. That's what I'm showing for some of you. Yeah, and with these, um, where your head is at, that's exactly where your head is at with the ace of swords and the two of cups in reverse. Longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you. Yeah, like I said, with the ace, <laughs> with the uh, star card in reverse... And temperance in reverse, this person, they're going to reach out. They can't help it. For some of you, this is a, um, yeah, with the, okay, so yeah, that makes sense. For some of you, this is, um, it could be a twin flame or it could be a um, very intense uh, past soulmate energy, okay? Because this temperance in reverse, the star card in reverse is telling me that this person cannot help it. They have to reach out to you. Put away the computer. Working hard and having more fun will help strengthen your relationship. So for some of you, when this person comes around, see, this is all about establishing a connection with the person. Some of you, you know, you, you're going to have to spend time with this person. And there's nothing wrong with that, but that's what you want to do. You want this person to show their effort, make effort. Let them put away their computer. Let them put away their phone when they're around you. Let them, you know, find... You know, find out, okay, well, what are you doing next week? Let's go out and, and, you know, go to the park or let's go have some food or let's go do something fun. You know, you don't have to be all up underneath each other in the house being tempted to be intimate because you got the devil energy here and the fool in reverse. So don't forget that. Okay. So for some of you, you know, you need to put your boundaries in place. Okay. With the nine of wands in reverse. 
You know, put your boundaries in place, be defensive a bit, and take things very slow. Let this person prove themselves to you. All right? So, Scorpio, that's what I got for you. I hope you uh, resonated with the reading. Let me know by clicking the like button or leaving me some comments. But we got this Ten of Pentacles as the overall energy here. So, some of you, you know, you're going to be really happy. Okay? All right, guys. I love you. Talk to you later.